Oh, okay. Our first top eight match, Noble TJ versus Azazel. Uh, yeah. Azazel. I think it's actually pronounced Azazel. Is it Azazel? Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I mean, normally you would say Azazel, but <laughs> uh, I, I mean, it's, I guess I suppose it's pronounced in Japanese is Azazel, but... So we will see another step out versus Machamp. I'm glad we have a lot of Machamp players on stream today. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely one of my favorite characters to watch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we saw Azazel take out Bim um, earlier in Top 16, and now he will be fighting TJ, another Sceptile. Right, right. And we did notice that there is quite a big difference between TJ's Sceptile playstyle and Bim's, so can Azazel make that adaption? Uh, yeah, you know, again, TJ, I'm, I'm just does not. Well, then again, I don't know. TJ does live in the same uh, region as Ouroboros. I know Ouroboros has been practicing his Machamp quite a bit. So this might be a matchup that or I'm sorry, that TJ knows a little bit about. Again, though, Ouroboros Machamp not quite at the level as Azazel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, I guess we'll see. You know, I guess some matchup experience is better than no matchup experience. Right, right. And Azazel probably well versed, very well versed in the Septile matchup. So this should be an interesting one to watch. Right, right. And we're gonna go right into our first top eight match here at World Championships. Three out of five. This will be a best of five set. Uh, so it's gonna be a lot of grabs. There are gonna be a lot of grabs. A lot of grabs. A lot of resets. A lot of mix-ups from TJ in the mid screen. How will Azazel combat him? So is there anything in particular that you would do if you were on the Machamp's end? Um, exactly what he did to Bim. Just like the exact same way he played against Bim. <laughs> uh, we saw Azazel go for a lot of grabs. Um, you know, I feel like, I don't know how he conditioned, I don't, I don't know if he played Bim before, because Bim seemed like he already was conditioned, a lot of grabs came out. Uh, but not as many submissions as we saw Gorson go for, just a lot of neutral grabs, which honestly does more damage than submission if you're not bulked up. Oh. Uh, TJ, though, I, I've seen, I don't know, I've seen TJ go for crazier things than Bim. He I, uh, probably attacks more than Bim, than Bim counters, which might help him out. So I don't know, Again, it should be a really interesting, uh, interesting match to watch. So our first match of top eights, once again, TJ versus Azazel, Sceptile versus Machamp. Man. Players have made it this far, and this is the final stop of the Pokémon Tournament Championship Series at Pokémon World 2016. Game one, let's go. Yes, and opting to use Sylveon, trying to mitigate some of the grab damage with that defense buff. That's the uh, support that we got. I mean, he's pretty exclusively used that support set. Oh, TJ letting go of Lost Hands at the last second. He didn't even go for the guard break combo, he went for the reset afterwards. And TJ is just not blocking. <laughs> Trying to use Detect. Yeah, whoa, what's going on? Uh, detect is probably the last thing. Uh, yeah. Especially going against like Azazel, who you know is going to be grabbing a lot. And he doesn't have to go for the reset after. He just goes for the hit confirm and his combo. They're going to get a correct grab right there. Not going to do much damage because of Camp's high HP. HP right, right. Keeping his distance, doesn't want to get for any chopped in field phase. Uh, and in fact, luckily for, him, for uh, Azazel, he's not going to do a lot of damage to field phase. Yeah, but this is a good opportunity for TJ. He's at flashing red health, he's got uh, the debuff as well. Again, the debuff really not gonna, <laughs> really not going to add too much just about the damage. <laughs> uh, honestly though, the debuff that Azazel gets is mainly for getting like, a crit each plate. Mm -hmm. And that's when it actually does really big damage. Or like, obviously, other uh, attacks. Right, right. <laughs> punish on that bulk up. Ooh, a little bit too early on that karate chop. It's not going to break uh, the projectile from Sceptile. Oh, the mix up doesn't have to go for the grab after, just continues and catches him and pushing a button. TJ calling him out. There, the <laughs> up X coming out. Even Azazel uses that attack. That's crazy. <laughs> it has its uses. Oh, wow. So, yeah, that fully charged attack is real. Uh, not necessarily feel like will break the armor. Oh my goodness! <laughs> he tried to leave Storm. I guess I don't know what he was expecting, but he tried to leave Storm the cross, the cross <laughs> chop, and just got a crit. That was a crit cross. That was super unfortunate. Man, he was right his first attack as well, and gets oh, a grab wow. after. He let go of his submission. Although I think the grab would have grabbed submission anyway. Yeah. I think when you try and grab submission, just grab it. 
Oh man, and the Whimsicott going through everything. <laughs> no fear at all from Azazel as yeah. he misses that cross shot to flip it in. This will be the end of the round and right. Oh, double four. TJ. Both players are one round each. Oh, yeah. Alright, he's just gonna stand there on that uh, synergy ball. Mm -hmm. A little extra here. Yikes. Yeah, it punishes that uh, karate chop attempt. Yeah, I mean, he had to fully charge it. I guess he could have CATC, but uh, he thought he was going to have enough time to pierce with the decks. I'm just so surprised at how small the hitbox is on that Lariat. No, it's, it's actually really big. It's just easy to low mm. Alright, so Azazel working out very good third round here. TJ getting that Sylveon up and maybe get a little damage with that uh, defense buff. But it might not even matter. Oh, flash is that Splash. Yeah, he goes for the sliding kick because he is in mid-screen. Easier to convert with that one. Oh wow, Wake Up Slap actually connecting. That's the first time I've ever seen Wake Up Slap. <laughs> oh, Ford oh, X. Oh no! So any other attack that TJ would have done, a JY would have hit him out of a Ford X, but uh, Bullseye of course has no hit stun or knockback. Yeah. So the Ford X just, uh, you just let it rock. Yeah, just buff right through it. Looking like Juggernaut. Great, a great third round for Azazel. Yeah, that was looking really close until third round. And the Whipsa got actually is working out really well for Machamp, especially in the field phase when uh, TJ is throwing out all those projectiles. Just runs right through them. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, wow, another up X for 150 <laughs> damage. Uh, luckily for TJ, man, they say that he threw out of five seconds. This first round is starting off not too well at all for him. No. Super unfortunate. Septile's damage is so. <laughs> oh, wake up, slap, please. <laughs> nice full combo off one. He's against the wall. That is much yeah, standard Septile combo. Um, I'm really much not much in terms of variation for that. And this is probably that'll do it. That'll do it. Things are not looking good for TJ. You know, these rounds, uh, he's he's able to kind of keep it close sometimes, but it, for the most part, it seems like. Uh, Azazel has been winning the neutral more often than not. Finally getting the counters connect. <laughs> Trying to make that back X work. Maybe taking a page from Horston. Yeah, this is that TJ combo getting the debuff and goes into the Leaf Blade as well. Oh, again, that very early Karate Chop going to get him punished. I'm not sure what he was trying to Karate Chop. And then a <laughs> Heavy Slam is going to get him punished again. Okay, I, I don't know what's going on with this. Also, just <laughs> Yo, are we gonna do the TJ special? The TJ perfect? Nice, I love that. Using the boulder to kind of break the razor leaf. And yeah. Wow, TJ. I don't know what what happened in between the first round and this round. TJ. Oh, he figured something out. Oh my goodness. You most most of the time he would go for a grab in that situation, but and caught him slipping. And the charge X is gonna go right, pierce right through that counter attack. Oh, again, nice. I love that. Calling him out with that up Y. It does have a very long lasting active hitbox. And starts it up, and on Wake Up, he's trying to set something up, but just goes for the grab before anything could even happen. I mean, yeah, that's the mix up, man. Uh, once that thing is set up on me, you want to you want to block, and that's what kind of conditions you getting grabbed. Right. <laughs> wow, Ford X is working again. I, I obviously got to adjust my champ play. He will get punished. Oh, the, I don't know if you saw, so... <laughs> yeah, it looked like the guard was slightly, slightly out. That yeah, was so the it, animation. It, was, it, was, it was starting up, but uh, he was still <laughs> in the recovery. It, so if you jump and land and try and shield, you'll see the start the startup of your shield that you won't actually be shooting. Right. You're still in the recovery of jumping. Yeah, what a odd situation. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often, but... Uh, <laughs> nice, the submission cancel to make his way through there, but gets caught by the lead seed. Mm -hmm. Even though he got the wake up slam. And another wake up slam. Uh, that actually does way more damage. Uh, just gonna throw away his burst attack. Cause... Oh no, TJ! I wonder if that wake up slap was a bait or you know just to make him leaf late right there. Man, the wake up slap is actually a great option at that distance because it kind of keeps him away for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> the wake up slap is not not really a great attack. <laughs> it's working out for him those last three. Uh, if, it, if, it, if it hits, then it's a good attack. Uh, it's just like it's like up X and it's like forward X. If it actually hits, it's great. If it doesn't, then.
Alright, so game at number three between our two players, our first match of top eight, and it seems like Azazel has TJ's number. Uh, just like I said, man, it's about such a common character in Japan. Uh, Azazel probably feeling extremely, extremely confident in this matchup. Oh no. Oh my goodness, please. Yikes. Goes for the air grab because he knows that will not face shift. Okay, breaks the grab that time. That's up X, that's what it's made for, but we'll not get a combo from it because it's an air grab. He's got to read some of these grabs coming. Yeah, things are not looking good off our home time here. <laughs> CJ. Yes, sir. Oh, here we got the Machamp zoning going on, too. Yeah, one HP. Can he mount this comeback? Okay, still beyond. Getting a little bit of HP back. So trying to make this forward egg work. Did not get the hit confirmed from Azazel? Uh, well, yeah, down Y, you can't combo block it, unfortunately. So, it's, you, just, you just do it and you have to go for a reset afterwards. What was TJ? Doing. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Trying to use this. Uh, wow, that terrible recovery attack that all has in field phase. I mean, it does have a hitbox while he's starting up, but it got countered. And honestly, there's no really reason, or no real reason to do it that close. All right, there is the counter. No combo off of that. Uh, did he actually know he had bulk up? So I think he could have combo off of that. So he's gonna break that grab and get a grab of his own. So much more damage in his Mega Evolution form, but still not that much. <laughs> yeah, I think this was a good support set pick for TJ, but it really didn't seem to be helping out too much. Yeah. Uh, generally, like, it, I think it is like a great support set to use as this character. But, um, and and it's also just staying in his shield, not getting tricked up by all these mix-ups from TJ. Uh, at least, like, oh no, that was up X that is going to get a single reverse hit. I love Ooh. that. Submission cancel into uh, a regular grab. Through the lead blade. Oh, but this oh, is gonna punish. Gosh. <laughs> wow, Azazel takes it. Clean 3 0. Azazel knows! Man, that was. Wow, it was a very dominant one for Azazel. <laughs> Decisive! And it, like you said, it's just. He seems to understand Sceptile more so than TJ understands the champ. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, and man. it's a character you don't see very often. I don't blame TJ for not having that kind of matchup experience, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, I really thought, uh, you know, after the first match was relatively close. I thought it was going to be a closer set than that, but Azazel clutches is out 3-0. So congrats to him. He will move on. Man, Machamp making this farm bracket. Clearly, I'm playing Ooh. the wrong character. Ooh, yeah. Showing up for Machamp right now. How yeah. many Machamps do we still have? Uh, when this game first came out, I really thought Machamp was one of the weaker characters in this game, but uh, I guess I didn't realize the amount of times you have to play RPS with this character and how the risk reward is absolutely in his favor. Yeah, normally grabs are not that threatening, but with Machamp, that is completely the opposite. And then that wake up slab. Yeah, it's um again if it hits it does quite a bit of damage. Again that <laughs> that bullet seed not gonna do any <laughs> hits done. Oh man. And yeah, this, this is pretty much just a uh, a Zazel highlight reel because uh, <laughs> TJ really had really struggled getting anything started. Uh, first attack, honestly just a wake up slab baits, yeah, I, yeah honestly oh. that I, I think he knew the wake up side was going to completely miss. It was just a complete bait. Because from that distance, the only thing he could have CA'd was a leaf blade. So he was absolutely waiting for that leaf blade. Right. Or maybe like a down X or something. But in any case, TJ with <laughs> that arranged attack. <laughs> oh, man. What great, great reaction time with that burst attack going to catch the JX coming down. Right. Man. Wow. That very, very decisive win for Az Az Azazel. I don't know what else to say about that. Like 3-0. TJ obviously was not ready for a player with, of that character of that caliber, honestly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you mentioned yeah, his practice partner, but not the same level of Machamp. No, of course not. Uh, it really is an American player. 